Hey everyone, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College and uh, continuing in the Stride Piano Summit series. Uh, taking a look at Fats Waller again today and a song called Zonky. And I'll link to his uh, performance of this song in the description. <laughs> I don't have a transcription of it, um, but I, you know, I've listened to a little bit of it, and I'm trying to figure some of it out. And I thought this uh, opening chord progression was pretty interesting. At first, I thought it was F minor, E flat seventh, D flat seventh, and C seventh. But when I listened carefully, I realized it was F minor, A flat seven which, uh, you know, takes you with dominant motion to D flat seven and then C seven. And I noticed that his C seven chord led nicely back into the F minor voicing that he was using. Okay, now this is very difficult to play. Um, first you're playing octaves and then you're, you're jumping quite a ways to these chords. But there are some things I learned from classical music and from from my great classical music teacher, uh, you know, about how to, you know, learn to do something like these, like how to negotiate these large jumps. So one thing you can think about, you know, if you're jumping, say, from here to here and, you're, and your right hand was all already there, you just kind of think about replacing this hand with this hand. So if you're like here and you go to there, it's not such a big jump because you're already here with this hand. And so this hand can kind of easily find its way kind of this hand is kind of the guide. But here, that's not really the case. But if you think about that you're playing an octave and then your fourth finger, at least I use my fourth finger to play the chord, you're only going from here to here. So you're going thumb there and then here to there because it's A flat seventh. And then here. And if you think of it like that, it's a very small jump from here to there, even though with the fingering, it kind of comes out a little bit bigger. So. so I guess that one's even bigger there. And another thing I've learned from studying classical music is that just because you don't really master something in one practice session doesn't mean you're not going to get it eventually. And a lot of times it's taken me, you know, four or five days or a week or longer to really start to feel comfortable with something. And so I'm just going to do this for about five minutes every day. And also try to do it without really looking. All right, so I'm still looking. Now I'm going to stop looking. Ah. So Yeah, I mean, that was with my eyes closed, those last couple. Just a little sideline here, as I have a pretty famous cousin who... Um, has written a couple of uh, ragtime pieces that he plays, or stride piano pieces that he plays in concert. One's called uh, Cat and Mouse, and the other one I think is called Dog and Cat. And it, I'm sh pretty sure that he got the ideas from these pieces from, you know, Fats Waller and uh, maybe this comp uh, composition in particular. Uh, he also, I think, starts with a more simplified version of this, which is... Or something like that. And then go into a fuller swing here. So, you know, don't feel like you have to be Fat Swaller. Remember, he had pretty big hands, and, you know, I'm sure he just spent his most of his youth practicing this style so you know by the time he was 
you know, a performing and famous musician, he could do this, you know, with his eyes closed before. Is a style you're trying to learn? You know, try taking a simple chord progression like this and just practicing it until the cows come home. <laughs> this, like this. And he was very, very quick and covered big distances. If this is, now I think what's cool about this piece is it, you know, it, it makes that shift into A flat. And then right away, it goes up to a D flat uh, tonality and continues on for a while in the key of D flat. Anyway, it's a great song by Fats Waller. It's called Zonky. I've kind of injured this finger. I don't know if it was from doing too many two-fingered runs or shifting the gears too often on my bicycle or using hedge clippers or what, but I'm a little sore here for about the past three or four days kind of out of practice, but I uh, hope to be back in the saddle again real soon. So once again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for all my supporters over on Patreon and uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye.